While working on various pieces, oftentimes you will need to sand those down. And sometimes you can need to get into a little more difficult places or you might just need a nice sturdy backbone on the piece of sandpaper that you're using. You have a number of different options for creating your own sanding sticks or anything like that. But today I would like to introduce you to a new offering from Fordham Tools that is also a sanding holder, but it comes in square and round and it's very, very easy to change between your grits. So let's take a look at that now. Both of these sanding sticks are eight inches long. They can each take up to three and a half inch wide pieces. Now in this case, we have the square, which is going to give me three surfaces to be able to sand. We also have a round option in the same configuration. Another thing I really like about these is you have the colored handles, which is going to allow you for easy identification. When you first receive your sanding holders, it will have a piece of sandpaper on it. You can use that as a guide for cutting others, or you can just measure out a one and a half inch by three and a half inch piece. To swap out your different sanding sticks, you'll just rotate this around. You can either slip that off or whatever else. And then I'm going to place my new piece on here. Now you have a couple of different options. You can take it where it's going to overlap, but because I want this nice and tight, I find that it's easier for me to do one side at a time. So first thing I'll do is get one piece over here, start to bend it around a little bit, and then I will close down the handle on that. Then with that installed in there, I can pull this so it makes it so it's a little bit tighter. Bring it up here and just kind of give a nice little score line. Open up the sanding guide and Place my sandpaper, tuck that in, and bring this around, holding that sandpaper into place. And now we have our sandpaper installed. Once your sanding film or sandpaper have been installed, the nice long handle makes it very easy to be able to control your piece as well as give some nice firm pressure onto the piece you're working with. The round also allows you to be able to get into curved surfaces, say a ring or any other type of surface like that, and it makes it easy for you to be able to work it around. Now in the case of the example that I just showed you, I used one of the polishing papers also available from Fordham. I like this particular pack because we have the grits going from 30 all the way down to one micron. So those are nice because they're a little bit more flexible. But as you can see with what came installed on our pieces, you can use regular sandpaper as well. One thing to remember when you are cutting any sandpaper or any polishing films, make sure you use a dedicated knife or scissors because they won't be very much good for cutting anything else after you start cutting into those. These products along with everything else are available where you can buy Fordham products as well as at Fordham.net.